and Daisuke Takahashi. Hard to believe that his bronze medal at the 2010 Winter Olympics was the first Olympic medal for Japan in the men's singles event. Daisuke has paved the way for legends like Yuzuru Hanyu to follow. And then let's see what he can do in the ice dance discipline. This, their Midnight Blues section, first of their five required elements in the rhythm dance. Midnight Blues section must be followed up by their pattern dance type step sequence. Wow, what an interesting take on the street dance rhythm. It almost would be folk dance, that hip hop beat that we were working with. And again, Daisuke, one of his trademark moves, the hip hop Swan Lake piece that he used in 2008 as a short program. And you can see the adoring fans, I'm sure, will be delighted to see. This legend of Japanese figure skating returning. And interesting even to see the physical changes of the demands of this discipline. You can see the muscular arms that will have had to develop and the new requirements placed upon them within this version of the sport. Greeted by Marina Zueva. She responsible for the Olympic wins of Tessa Virtue and Scott Moore in their first Olympic title. And Meryl Davis and Charlie White. To that. So they have great education. You see such great quality. And I'll continue to reference the fact that this man was a world champion in the men's singles discipline. 
but just such different requirements stylistically and within the elements in the dance category. And it'll be fascinating to see how the judges review that. Your difficult entry and this the change of position as their feature to accrue a level four. Level four being the highest level awarded by the technical panel. And here the sequential twizzles, arms aloft as a level feature. And this third twizzle, just about to see another level feature. All the couples working on carving out level four elements, big grades of execution. And it looks like the technical panel were relatively impressed. Two key points for them in the Midnight Blues. And level three for both Kana and Daisuke in the Pack and Dance Tech Steps against which that in itself. Admirable call for them both. And as ever with the Japanese skaters showing respect to the coaches. Nice That's to see Marina's cool. waiver. We haven't seen her on the competition circuit as readily Muramoto, the last couple of seasons. And that an impressively Takahashi big score. Is Making it difficult for the second Japanese team left to skate, who we'll see in two skaters' time.